their pouring footing the, right now. After it sets up a little bit, they stand the bar the up. Corner of the wall right there. Yeah, first thing you want to do after the uh, footing is poured is uh, come around and straighten so you can the see their uh, got all the rebar straightened out now. But we got the stem down, looking good. Just follow the string. See the string there. Just spot glue it. You want to glue the stem to the footing about every six or eight inches. And you just come back and screen it off. You can see it's all poured now. There's Alan over there dressing it up. It took them about 25 minutes to uh, to grout this. That's good. Then she's just checking it now, make sure everything's nice and clean. Okay, we got the AB down. Got a shower. Right here. He'll signal the driver when he wants to go forward, just watching. Everything's hand signals. Using the bull float now, they already tamped it. We back poured the uh, garage and the porch and patio today. They're just finishing it up now. Here's the back patio here. This is the um, sunken shower after they got it stripped. They got it all poured out. We uh, brought out a short load to get started on today. We got the full truck coming tomorrow. Looking really good. Unloading the truck here. Just that simple. 35 minutes to unload the whole truck. All set. Ready to start putting Alan's lock gonna up. show you here. Uh, well, we're going to cut this piece and put it in there and glue it. It's always a good idea to try to find a scrap piece, obviously. Alan's got a scrap piece here that's long enough. He's going to take the saw and cut it. For the top. Just cut it. Kind of neat, just use the pallet for a... Uh, a sawhorse to put your block on. He's going to come over here and place it where he wants it. Checking it for plump. Sort of smoothing that out a little bit. Get that next block on there. There's going to be a stairwell going through there. Getting that nice and level. Then he's setting the block here in place and then we're going to come back and straighten them out. Plumb them and get them exactly where we want them. It goes up really quick. He's going to turn that around so the low goes up. And all you got to do is come back and cut these two end pieces right here and the one at the other end. And that row's done. You're gonna run a string on it now, make sure it's nice and straight. See, we've got a piece of scrap right here she's gonna cut. You always wanna try to use your off walls, obviously, instead of cutting a new block. Measure it to 17 inches, I think she needed there. And she's gonna mark it with the uh, handsaw. Again, I like using the saws all because it doesn't kick up as much stuff. Just that simple. Do the same thing at the other end, that row's done. Took about five minutes to put that row up there. I like using a sawzall, not a chainsaw. You don't get as much debris. You can cut it with a handsaw, sawzall, keyhole saw, pretty much anything you want. 